Hey, let's run through this Kafka Streams with Scala example. I'm going to start by going through all the steps that I do in the accompanying tutorial. So wherever you're watching this video, you should also have the written instructions with it as well, or there should be a link to the written instructions that I'm about to go through. So I'm going to start up Zookeeper. Then I'm going to start Kafka. Again, these are all listed in the steps. So I'm going to go pretty quickly through this. I'm going to create a topic. That topic is pretty simple. It's just called text lines. So created that topic. Uh, let's see what's next. Um, created the topic. Let's create some uh, some dummy text. So I'll do that by saying echo do do we do da a few times and put that into words. From here we can send that to our topic by the power of piping in the shell in bash shell. So we've now loaded up words and we're able to, we can actually, we can run it now if we want. And I'm going to do that in IntelliJ. So um, that's just a matter of coming, I've, I've imported the project that's part of this tutorial on Kafka Streams. So I've imported that into IntelliJ and I can just click, right click on word count and hit run word count. While we're here, we might as well just take a look at the build stbt file. We're pulling in Kafka screen streams, the wrapper here, really straightforward SBT file. Um, and then pulling in log back as well. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Okay, so did we run that? We did. Looks like it ran fine, which means then we would have been writing back out to this word count results. So we can go check those results. If we go to a Kafka consumer, I'm going to paste this in. So let's see, we've got the Kafka console consumer. We're going to read from word count results and then we're going to pass in the serializer. And do serializers? Pretty straightforward. And we've got a word count. So we're working. We have just... Uh, gone through the example and um, hopefully that you'll find that easy and helpful for you a couple of other things while we're here that might be um, interesting as far as source code goes if you uncomment this you'll see some of the implicits that are now being required so the serializer deserializer things like needing consumed you'll see other ones here like grouped and materialized so this is kind. Of, this is nice. The power of Scala and implicit, and adding these implicits to the scope um, without that line there. Also, I talk a little bit about the differences between K stream and K table in the tutorial. Um, yeah. So that's that's it. Um, hopefully, you find this helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, um, good luck in your Kafka streams journey.